Support comes from the Missouri Forest Products Association, committed to conservation and careful management of the state's forests to make them more resilient and better habitats for wildlife. Choosewood.com. From St. Louis Public Radio. This is St. Louis on the Air. I'm Sarah Fenske. Louis Reed resigned yesterday. The president of the St. Louis Board of Aldermen for the past 15 years is under indictment. He allegedly accepted bribes from an unnamed property owner seeking favors from the city. Two of his allies on the board, John Collins Muhammad and Jeffrey Boyd, are also under indictment. One resigned in May, the other last week. Mayor Tashara Jones lamented the facts in their indictments at a press conference this morning. The pay-to-play allegations in the indictment speak for themselves. What we can't measure are the businesses, the grocery stores, the homes that never came to St. Louis, particularly North St. Louis, because of issues like these. While I wholeheartedly believe that people are innocent until proven guilty, I also recognize, and I think our city does too, that the disturbing federal corruption charges brought against Lewis Reed, Jeffrey Boyd, and John Collins Muhammad prevented them from doing the job that they were elected to do, to faithfully serve this, the residents of St. Louis. That is St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones. And joining us now with the latest is STLPR's justice correspondent, Rachel Lipman. Rachel, welcome. Hi, Sarah. It's good to be back. So Lewis Reed waited almost a week after this indictment was unsealed to resign. What was going on behind the scenes during that time? I think there were a couple of things going on. Number one, there are a lot of ducks that you have to get into a row when the presiding officer is looking at stepping down, taking a leave of absence, or just not being you know, the presiding officer anymore. It's helping Joe Vollmer, who will preside occasionally if you know President Reed had to step away for a reason, uh, but he's not in, in, immersed in those procedural aspects. And anyone who has watched the Board of Aldermen knows there's a lot of procedure that has to go on. You have to know the rules. You have to know the steps to take. Part of that may have been in his letter, as he mentioned, trying to ensure and, and you know, lay out some of the groundwork for now President Vollmer to be able to take over. But I imagine what also was going on is some pressure building up from his allies. It's one thing for your political opponents to come out and say, you need to resign. It's easy to dismiss that out oh, it's just political pandering. Mm -hmm. But when you start getting internal pressure from your allies on the board who are saying, look, you cannot continue to do this. You're putting your legislative agenda, our legislative agenda at risk. That is, I think, the tipping point for him to say, you know what, I do need to do this for the benefit of the city. So you talked to some of those allies yesterday. That includes Joe Vaccaro. Um, He said that board members learned about Lewis Reed's resignation like everyone else through the media, through social media. I, I actually talked. I I broke the news to an alderman and his reaction cannot be repeated on the air because of FCC. Well, so yeah, people did not know this was coming. Uh, Joe Vaccaro noted to you that the Board of Aldermen President Tom Zish resigned after he was indicted in 1987. He was later acquitted. He beat the rap. Yeah, he did not resign. Okay, he did yes. not resign. He, he didn't, was he, acquitted. He, he survived. Uh, Tom Zich survived the pressure. Uh, somehow, you know, stayed on uh, despite the fact that he was under indictment for corruption related to cable licenses. Yes. So he also told you that people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Is he suggesting more shoes are ready to drop on the board of aldermen? I think that that's not an uncommon idea that this investigation itself is going to keep expanding and pulling in additional people. People. We saw the indictment in St. Louis County that was issued yesterday appears to be have the same nexus as the one in the city. But there are also things that may have gone on that are not the subject to this investigation, where things happen that aren't coming to light in federal investigations, but are just kind of known that it happens on the St. Louis Board of Aldermen, that it's the way of doing business that maybe aren't caught up in this particular investigation. Did Mayor Tashara Jones address that today in in the press conference? She did, in fact. She said that she doesn't know if this is the case, but she expects that there will be more indictments coming. She made it very clear that she has no crystal ball, but that, yes, indeed, she does believe that these indictments are just 
you know, the first to pull back the curtain on pay to play in the city of St. Louis. So some progressive aldermen, including Alderman Shane Cohn, has suggested this is a time that some big things should change at the Board of Aldermen, just the way things are, the way business is done. Do you think there's a groundswell that could lead to more systemic changes? I think right now the board just needs to get through its last major pieces of legislation. Um, They still have to pass a budget by June 30th. They'll have to come back and then deal with the next tranche of federal American Rescue Plan Act dollars. They will have to deal with uh, whatever they get from the settlement from the St. Louis Rams uh, over their departure to Los Angeles, the now Los Angeles Rams technically. What Cohen basically was referencing is this idea that you now have new leadership. You don't have the factions as clearly outlined anymore because, in his view, it's not a person up on stage who is on the dais, I should say, who is using board procedure and board rules to benefit his factions. And Mayor Jones actually mentioned this in her address today, too. She said, give Alderman Vollmer a chance to lead. This is now the acting president. He's the acting president. And he told my colleague Jason Rosenbaum, he has absolutely no interest in, you know, taking this role on in November. He will fill out his, you know, caretaker position and then go back to being the alderman of the current 10th ward. He's uh, ward is based in the Hill. So that is a caretaker president of the Board of Aldermen. After a long time of Lewis Reed being in charge, Joel Vomor, we're going to see how he does. I imagine a lot of people are going to be running for that seat. STLPR's justice correspondent, Rachel Lipman, thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure as always, Sarah. This episode was produced by Danny Wisentowski with audio engineering by Aaron Doerr. Our production intern is Avery Rogers. This podcast was mixed and edited by Aaron. Our executive producer is Alex Hoyer. St. Louis on the Air is a production of St. Louis Public Radio. Understanding starts here. Do you find yourself regularly listening to episodes of St. Louis on the Air? Suggest us to a friend you think might enjoy our conversations. And leave us a review and rating on Apple Podcasts on the App Store. It's the simplest way to help people discover our show. Thanks. St. Louis Public Radio is a member-supported service of the University of Missouri-St. Louis. Support comes from the Missouri Forest Products Association. Missouri produces wood pallets, railroad ties, white oak barrels, hardwood floors, and more. Details on the variety of products made in the state are at ChooseWood.com.